We back. Another week, another motherfucking episode, man. Another one. I can't even say that because we can't trust in the fight like the fucking street. It's all right. I have to tell it. <laughs> nah, what's up, yo? Everybody <laughs> straight. Everybody good. Sure. My family, my people, man. We back. Another week. Right to the podcast, man. No, for real. How everybody week been? Everybody week been good? <clears throat> Ooh, we motherfuckers sound mosey and niggas <laughs> dragging around yeah, these bitches. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Y'all straight? Yeah, I'm yeah. straight. I'm just happy to be here, man. Happy I made it. What's going on? You sound like you just woke up. You all right? I'm what, man. I just be on go. I don't even know what day it is. Yeah. I just be knowing I got to work. You be grinding. Yeah, yeah. It be like that shit. When you get into it. But man. I enjoy this shit, so I don't be no problem. I know my energy going to lift up eventually. Yeah. Got to, shit. And yeah. we happy to have you. Here, God damn, we happy you made it. Nah, real shit, though. Tino, what good with your partner? Man, everything straight, man. Everything Bless. straight, man. Bless, man. Got down. Seen my niece this, uh, this past weekend. Oh, my new, My newborn niece. She in, uh, she in the hospital right now, but she is. She, oh, damn. She decent, though. Prayers with her, man. Congratulations on uh, that, so man. So appreciate Adventure that. to the family, God damn. Yeah, yeah. I'm got that. Have him. Yeah. I'll give you another baby. But, uh, you say you trying to have you another baby. Yeah, 2023, my you. Oh, man. Shit, what you fishing for? Oh, a boy man. Girl? One more got down for I turn 30. You fishing for a boy or a girl? Oh, true. I ain't gonna be better. Huh? Mm-hmm. You fishing for a boy or a girl? I mean, shit. Don't really matter, bro. That nigga said it don't really matter. One of them. <laughs> nigga, I mean, ain't but two options, nigga. Oh, <laughs> that nigga shit. said one of the other. Ah, oh, shit. I'm saying, bro. Know, no bro. matter what they choose, so their I'm pronouns. Be saying man, they just got down two, two, whatever two they general. pronouns are, goddamn, they still. I just, I was just saying, I just want a boy or a girl. I don't want no other. Oh, mm. Yeah, okay, I got you. I follow where you go. Make yeah. no, um, I, I don't know. Probably a boy though. If yeah. I have a girl, she gonna be too pretty and got down. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to deal with this shit. That shit gonna be hard, my nigga. Yeah, boy, that's gonna be. Mm. You gonna be on your mind twenty four seven. Man, man, she gonna have some good hair, some pretty eyes. Yeah, goddamn, she gonna have my looks. Oh man, that nigga mm. said she gonna have my looks. Yeah, that was she look crazy. Hey, but not in a good way though. Yeah, you know some of them, some of them. You ever seen a girl that got got her looks from her dad? <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, you be like, damn, you look just like that with that <laughs> in a bad way or a good way though. Yeah. I be. <laughs> I just seen some women yeah, who like you can way. tell they look like they daddy, but they still like cute women. Yeah, like, I didn't see like some like what you talking about. Fine as hell. I don't look like him. I, like it took me a long time to see that I look like him, but I feel like I really got like a lot of features from my mom and my dad. Yeah, but yeah, I really good. do like my dad. Both my parents have green eyes though. Yeah, but you can tell though. Like I'm talking about the ones that yeah, they look dead like that. They be like, well, you got to have like you don't want to look like boozy. You a girl? (laughs) (laughs) You type shit like that. Your ass look just like boozy. Shit, that nigga daughter do look like him. They all got them um them naked eyes, like a dead eye. Yeah, (laughs) for real. They got thin eyelashes, so they they show most of the whites of their eyes. That why that shit look weird. Yeah. But some girl, like, you can look at their mom and be like, yeah, Yo, you probably got to look for her daddy's side. Like, Yo. his mama might have been fine or something. <laughs> like, shit, you didn't get that shit from your mama. Right. Or maybe her mama looked too good. But. That makes sense. Hey, man, before we get too deep off of this shit, you already know how this go. Hey, shout out to BuzzSprout.com. If you listen to this podcast, you listen to this podcast on the platform provided by BuzzSprout.com. Hey, if you can't find us on an individual platform, just hit us on Google. Right to the podcast, we'll pop up everywhere you need to find us. Definitely go like and subscribe on YouTube, man. Right to see Colin the podcast. Go like, subscribe on our channel, man. Comment. I don't care if you hate the motherfucker. That's what you gotta say. For sure. Tune in every week. Hey, shout out to my dog Tino, like new window cleaning, 205-427-0303. Blow it up. Hey, hit my dog and get some uh, windows looking like new, man. Commercial or residential for sure. Also, if you want to be a sponsor of Righteous City Podcast, hit us at righteouslypodcast at gmail.com. That way, you can put um, sponsorship in the subject line, and we'll get that with you ASAP on how to be a sponsor of Righteous City Podcast. Last and not least, we got plenty of merch. 
We got we plenty of merch. merch. We bring y'all new merch. Yeah, we we got plenty of merch, man, for sure. Oh, for sure. I done got some playing cards today. Oh, man. See, we got playing. I told y'all we had playing cards mm-hmm. and comforters, and we got a whole lot of shit, man. man they got sweat shirts and all that good shit, man. Hats. So, definitely, man. We got flow oh. hats. I wish we could put this goddamn camera on the flow, goddamn. Right. For sure, man. We got mats and all kind of shit, man. So definitely. Clocks. Yeah, clocks and shit, and all kind of. How shit. you feel? You see that big out there? Right. Yeah. Hey, no batteries included. No batteries. Yeah, go by. I got the damn battery. Y'all nigga owe me two dollars for the post snip. Uh, hey man, we'll get it back to you, man. Don't worry about it, shit. That's why you got to use that that promo code, righteous man. Go get you some merch for show. That shit. Y'all got a promo code. Yeah, we got a promo code, man. Righteous. Mm. When you check out, put in promo code righteous. It'll save you them two dollars to get you some batteries. Damn, wish I wouldn't do that. Yeah, 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 my nigga. It's all over the world. I mean, it's all over the Instagram page that people uh-huh. need to go follow us on Righteously the Podcast. On IG. Nah, for real. Hit that link in the bio, man. It'll take you to our YouTube. It'll take you to the merch. It'll take you wherever you need to be to find us. I'm uh, subscribe to that YouTube. Subscribe, man, for sure. Definitely interact with us too, man. We'll hit you back at our earliest convenience. We'll be having a lot of shit going on. <laughs> but we appreciate each and every listener, man. Each and every follow it each and every subscribe we appreciate all of y'all nah for real for sure hey back on this shit though when you were talking about boosie hey you feel like he right or wrong about this ti shit how you or you ain't got no stance on it how you feel i'll just say that damn he stepped he had to though kind of put him on the spot <laughs> he had to like stand up or like stand on the same shit he said about goddamn um gangster yeah so before seeing in the paperwork and all that shit, you said the niggas a snitch, the nigga got down a rat, the nigga got down, you feel me? There's a whole lot of people standing up for that nigga in Angola. And got down, he said that shit about him, so shit when Boosie. And with that situation, he said he told on some dead niggas to get out of prison. Right. And they supposed to have life. <laughs> and according to Boosie, his ass in the state in that bitch, not told on nobody, dead or alive, and got down, lived the rest of his life in prison. And you wouldn't have Boosie and other niggas who think like Boosie respect out this home. Do you think that's but, work? I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Nah, I'm not gonna say that. T.I. said that he snitched on his dead cousin about them gun cases. Mm-hmm. So he can got down, you feel me? Not have to do his jail time type shit. So, right. I mean, hey, if that's what he stand up leave on, even that's your problem. Right. Now, he couldn't have went about a different way, but shit. I guess in the heat of the moment, you know, that bitch have lad TV, he asked you question. You gotta goddamn see, I done had this near to the whole time, so I gotta stand on what I'm saying. Right. That nigga ass look rat too. Yeah. So you feel like he's just committed to the shit he stand on? Yeah, I think he got too deep into it and got down. I think he shouldn't have waited mm-hmm. to see if got down. So the same shit he said about T.I. He said, man, T.I. got on that bitch and got the fucking talking. That's what I believe. He could he said he could have said the same shit with gangsta too. Right. But like I ain't seen no paperwork. He probably got up that bitch and got the fucking talking. Both of them niggas couldn't right. did the same shit. So you feel like he should have seen the paperwork before he said anything. Mm-hmm. And he should have called the apartment on some personal yeah. shit. Yeah. I was like, shit, but he probably said that shit, bro. But got that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm wait and see. Yeah. Tight yeah, shit. Yeah. See, we so big on paperwork. Yeah. I'm not sure you feel you what you saying is true or not. So goddamn. Right. I ain't even gonna speak on that shit right now. I wonder why it matters so much. To see it, nigga, if you got the respect or not. But what do it matter if you sitting in the chain gang the rest of your life and you like, I got Man, some, some niggas respect. gonna get caught, some niggas gonna goddamn get away. <laughs> Man, Boosie is crazy, bro. You got caught, nigga. It, no, nah, hell. Spend the rest of your life in prison. Let your homeboys fuck your old lady, goddamn. Mm-hmm. Let you not get no goddamn money on commissary and shit for real. But no, nah, they probably yeah. fought with him. They probably boost probably put some of that commissary and shit. Yeah. yeah. Now I can understand not telling on no niggas who still alive. I can I can feel you on that. But some dead So you gonna tell some dead niggas too? I'm just saying, like, I if a nigga got an out, I mean you ain't gotta say the same thing whole life, man. You Fuck. a fucking rat. Cut this niggas shit. Niggas ain't gonna have no goddamn. But T.I. <laughs> had went on some interviews and said that whenever he was saying that he was talking in paraphrase and he said that it was a joke allegedly that whenever he said that he was talking to his dead cousin he was making a joke he said like i guess they call it a sapphire or something like that it's some type of metaphor whatever genre whatever 
But he was saying that it was a joke. That's what right. he's saying. So that's why whenever Boosie said all that shit, he started going so hard. He was having paper parties and shit. Bring your paper to the party. Oh, paperwork parties. Yeah, yeah, we gonna see what nigga gonna write and shit. So he said he will. Anyway. Whenever he said he had a conversation with his dead cousin, he was not saying he had a conversation with his cousin. Right. It was more like a, I know it's sad, but a joke. I guess like some dark humor shit. I don't fucking know. But that's what that man said. And Boosie yeah, ain't pull up to the paperwork party, so. Boosie's ain't got a tissue. Uh, nah, man, that nigga Boosie be on some more shit. But yeah, that probably be your partner yeah. got down. I don't yeah. know, you probably shouldn't wait a little bit. Be like, hey, look, man, I don't know what the fuck bro got going on. Right. But got the, I ain't talked to the nigga yet. I'm going to see what's up first. The nigga should have got some more clarity on that shit. But I think the only reason he did that shit, though, because he was so quick when he got down, they said the shit about gangsters. Right. Then he I went back and said, shit, he could have been lying. I ain't, I ain't see that paperwork. But like he already said it though. So right. when they said the shit about you feel me, the other nigga, he had to go on here and had to stick to his story. Hey see yeah. the nigga was wrecked too. That shit oh. made sense though. But I feel like I feel I take your stance when you say a nigga could have went by it in a different way. Like, damn my nigga, you Oh, yeah, yeah them niggas just like too that. grown. Like yeah, y'all yeah, should already have true. y'all morals and boundaries set. Mm-hmm. Especially y'all supposed to be some street niggas or some OGs and shit like that. Like, yeah. come on now, hey y'all on the media with it? Like y'all acting like the millennial generation? Right. I just feel like Ti always be on some shit. Like how he do be yeah. always in his kids and some shit. He and some shit. It's yeah. always some shit. Like he, I don't know if it's attention. I don't know what it is, but it seems like that nigga always just be on some shit. Like, some obscure ass. Gotta shit. keep his name alive somehow. Yeah, I guess so. That makes sense. Hell yeah. Yeah, that hustle gang got down. I don't think they signing them. I don't know. I don't know nobody how don't hustle gang. Hell no, nah, shit. I ain't not saying Dro. Well, I don't know. Dope boy Raw was hot for a second because he got off. Got down. Oh, he was signing the hustle gang. Yeah. And got down. I ain't even know that. Yeah. I know that either. What Dobe? Nigga, what? that shit was got down. Oh, hey, speaking of that too. What's up with it? Y'all ever know the goddamn? It seems like everybody in the clip, they got some young nigga that died, like all of a sudden, out of that clip. What you mean? Mm-hmm. Goosey got Slim Dunn, 1017. And goddamn, yo, got it. You got goddamn, um, what my name is? Shit, I had all this shit in my fucking. I forgot. We got down on um, mm-hmm. Bank Road Fresh with 2 Chain. Boom, dead. Doe right. B with T.I. Boom, dead. Lil Fat with Boozy. Boom, dead. Right. Got down. It seemed like, I don't know, everybody from that woman called Lil Snoop with me, me. Boom, dead. Yeah. I don't know, bro. What you mean? Sacrifice? You speak. I ain't sacrifice. saying no sacrifice. It just, it, it just be seeming like, you feel me? Yeah, you can just up and got down. Just like weird. everybody out of out of little clip, mm-hmm. not necessarily signed to like a big label, like a three hundred or got down Sony or right. Like the small niggas that sign up under a major artist, like somebody out of everybody click. You feel me? And got the, killed type shit. It'd be a weird. You think it's a weird coincidence, or you think that shit like? like now it might just be a coincidence. I just seen a, a little pattern with the shit. That shit started with Pac and Biggie though. And he took it down from there. I wouldn't say that. That just some rappers that got killed. That one guy. I mean, unless you can say a bunch of shoes at night and got down PD, I guess. But. They was on separate sides, though, and like a lot of niggas from their clique ain't even killed. That was the little yeah. niggas, though. Pac and Biggie. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, I, yeah, I guess you can say that, yo. With Shug, not yeah. he did, yo. Because Pop was a little nigga on Death Row and Biggie was a little nigga on Bad Boy. Because both of them niggas were 25, 26. Yeah, when I think, I think one on like 20, that. what, 25? Right. right. So, yeah. That's it. I can see the pattern. I see what you mean. That shit crazy. Yeah. Maybe that's that's part of the game. See, you got to sacrifice you a nigga to make it out this whole. Yeah. Who it going to be, bro? Who it going to be you be and him? Shit. Nah, that's crazy, though. But you do you do have a point, though. I don't know. That shit wild, man. But some of these artists, like, I don't know. Some kind of way we always end up talking about music. But, like, these... These artists just be so interesting, like the shit that be happening, like when they tried to, uh, what's the shit I just seen the other day? Um, they were trying to implicate Drake in the 
the XXX dude murder trial. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then that shit just, like, vanished out. Like, bro, y'all should have known that shit was going to go away. Like, that nigga had shit. Like, he's turn the guy they say, hey, uh, Drake don't want to come to court. And he's like, well, shit, throw it out. Yeah, like, nigga, that's nigga, basically what happened. Nigga didn't have to come no more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's, how, to, to dissect that, what you think that? You think that's influence or you think that's how money works? Yeah, that's how money works. How money and goddamn, <laughs> nigga, your influence. I mean, it depends. I mean, it's influence is working, but goddamn, mm-hmm. like, like somebody like okay, Drake and Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian has an influence because she's done take her father. First of all, was in the court mm-hmm. system. She was in the court system. Okay, she don't, she could tell somebody. She ain't gotta really pay. I mean, money talk, but she could just tell somebody, Drake. He ain't got no type of. I mean, not that I know, no bachelor degree in law, or nothing like that. So right. when he go in there, it's gonna be the money. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go buy for a fire lawyer. We're gonna find a loophole in this bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's I'm all it's representative. Like, yeah, yeah, because like you don't gotta have no. All you need is to prove to these niggas this shit can be a lie. But long as you got them, long as you can support your life, shit, right. that shit ain't gotta be the truth. <laughs> yeah, you can go on that bitch all day and tell the truth, and goddamn, they don't want to hear that shit. So I come up with if I had lie then. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I don't know where yeah. the fuck he had all his money at. I don't know. They beating your ass. They got down. Shit, right. well, we gonna give you thirty years. But I'm right to tell y'all nigga the truth, bro. I don't know. At this point, I want to told y'all niggas. I right to don't know. Well, all right, we're gonna get. It. All right, we're gonna yeah. give you thirty years then. When you look at you might just have to convince yeah, these yeah. niggas, all right, boom, hell, hell. Niggas, <laughs> hey, that shit right here, then, goddamn. Y'all niggas don't want to believe that I don't write to know. I'm finna make some shit up then. Yeah. I'm finna go plant some money over that bitch and be like, yeah, they going stash. I got yeah. me, goddamn. That's just like that This Is Us movie. Uh, yeah, it's the documentary about those boys that got locked up for something they didn't do. Oh, that Central Park yeah, shit? Yeah, they kept on lying to the policeman. They wasn't believing yeah. them, so they all started lying. Oh, when they see it. It's like, well, maybe I did touch the girl. None of them boys touched the girl. Hey, it fit nothing. Hey, we see Yeah, now we probably got to come up with a line to get six months probation right. opposed to got down. Yeah. Y'all niggas don't believe we did nothing. Yeah, facts. All right, yeah. I, yeah, she was thick. I did put my hand up on the grab a cushion. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. Just enough to get a slap on the wrist side, yo. Tight shit. You know, yeah. I had to take your time for some shit I ain't doing. Fuck it. You know, yeah. everybody. But you know, nobody want to hear that shit. Everybody innocent in prison. Yeah. Yeah, how lawyers and shit. Everybody got down, got a case, got a story. Nah, but to that point though, I when I saw that shit, like what you said, you know how a nigga was just basically like, I'm not finna entertain that shit. Like I'm not coming to court. Bro, I said, damn, that's crazy. Like nigga, y'all was finna try to inconvenience me with some bullshit. Mm-hmm. In Florida, nigga, I stand in fucking Toronto. Right, nigga. Like, come on, I'm baby. not finna. I'm not finna. Nigga, that shit will cost me all. How, hell, how much nah. you think? How much you think it costs in the white? That shit. Like, you probably just, you probably got a, a retainer lawyer type shit. Yeah, nigga that paid him so much he know what time it is. Sick him. <laughs> paid Sick a nigga him. twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month type shit. Yeah. And see Drake is on retainer. That's my retainer lawyer. So yeah. nigga, you go down there and tell these folks I'm not coming. <laughs> yeah. They're like, yeah, where's Aubrey on? Um, <laughs> God damn shit. Yeah, I'll be here speaking in a day. Why he didn't come? <laughs> right? Frankly, goddamn shit. <laughs> According to goddamn sick despise. <laughs> Paragraph three, goddamn cold yeah. lemon, goddamn. Until no defending shell. He got there caught. He don't have to be here. Yo, oh God, he Until we take this to trial. He gonna he find actually one doesn't have to be here. In that <laughs> and the judge said, you know what? She, you we right. right, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> she dismissed. See you later. <laughs> she called Drake, goddamn. Hey, shit. They threw it out, buddy. You yeah. got time. Hey, it's done. Done deal. Keep living. Hey, man, I'm going to see your kid, your wife, some, some gifts. Got there. You'll see your uh, family some gifts and shit. Yeah, if I send them a little $300, $300 bottle of wine type shit. Yeah, or hey, yeah. Get the kids something for Christmas. Yeah, hey, yeah. That shit too far, though, bro. I, I like the way that shit worked. Like, the law worked for those who it was designed for, guys. I mean, it worked for you too. You got no money. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was designed for people with money. Or, or if you got the knowledge, you can also have the knowledge too. Yeah, you yeah. can beat the game witty, witty. Yeah. Now yeah, I'm saying you might not be the best nigga to. I wouldn't say, say represent yourself out there. So yeah. But see, if you got a nigga who got done going this bitch, well, 
this is from this age to this age. It's got down. It might be a little funny, but shit from this age to this age, the nigga, according to y'all, law that y'all wrote right here, and they got it. Well, yeah, that is true. What y'all got to say yeah. about it? You think well, he's not this mission? Why you think they locked him up? Not him. Why no. you think they don't still locked him up? Cause... Why you think they still threw him away for 20 years, bro? For playing with them like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a better I'm a judge. I'm not saying why I know this nigga. What this nigga just say? Like... <laughs> you think he'll okay trying to play goddamn I'm not? <laughs> I was say, all right, sir, that's enough. You said, you all right to have no goddamn good defense? It's your opening statement. <laughs> you coming in here and say, y'all niggas think I'm playing goddamn I'm not. <laughs> you just go back and sit down. Nigga, that was your opening statement. <laughs> all right, shit, defense go ahead with your goddamn. Yeah, he guilty, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, what you think he said when he got back to the chain game, though? He get back to the block. <laughs> They were like, cuz you went, we, all this shit we've been talking about, the beach okay. You went there. Oh, the jail, how Lord, you mad as fucking that so You know, right? You look, go some statues and everything. Cuz he, he get back to He said, all right, look, you did kill a nigga, but goddamn, you killed him in a goddamn undisclosed location. And goddamn, it's not associated with Jefferson County or Birmingham. So goddamn, you feel me? You killed a nigga, but he, technically, you wasn't even on the goddamn right. on properties or anything. You don't oh, win in that bitch. You got that. Forgot what they said out there, bitch. <laughs> that boy went to that boy went to ad lib. That boy ad lib in the murder trial. Nah, bro. nah, I did kill him. I did yeah. kill him now. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Oh shit. I had a cousin who did that. He got killed. Oh. The nigga got down, got mad at his girlfriend, body slammed her through the table, and broke her back, stabbed her, Damn. And shot the house up. Damn. Nigga went to the chain gang. He killed him? Nah. He uh, stabbed in her knees and shit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that, that ain't funny. You know, take that shit. Nah, really. But, like, it was Damn. fucked up because he had already, like, broke her back from slamming Yeah, her like, he broke her like, back to him, poked in the knee. <laughs> God damn, he turned the Robocop out of his uh, <laughs> she, she, she gonna be. She gonna be <laughs> Man, he'll, 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 he'll he'll charted, up. Bro. Nah, he did that shit. But like, all the king was, men and all the king. That shit was before like cell phones and shit, like camera phones, shit like that. So like, he could have got away, but Jeez. the nigga did some crazy shit. Like he couldn't. He tried to go kill himself, and then when he tried to go kill himself, it didn't work. So he didn't succeed with killing himself. Huh? I know he felt bad as hell. Nah, he didn't succeed, and he went to the hospital and woke up, changed, like, handcuffed to the bed. They took him to jail. That's like the ultimate end. Right. For you to try to kill yourself and don't do it. You That's can't crazy. do it. Oh, God. I wake nigga, up alive, about to go to jail. That nigga went to court and said he was going to represent himself. Out there. Bye. Threw his ass away, boy. And my grandma said, he ain't even graduated high school. How the hell is he going to go talk to him like they say, yeah, you go graduate from this cell out like this, hoe. Mm-hmm. In 12 years, 2023. Then that nigga got out and did the same shit. Damn, he broke somebody up back and stabbed him in the knee. Beat up. On some, on some like, in love type shit. That's why in love. Yeah, cub passed away, though, man. I mean, yeah. cub, nigga. Your cub was dangerous. Yeah, that nigga was wild, man. He used to talk that nigga every day, cub. That nigga wild as fuck. But then he passed away from killing himself, though. He killed himself, died out. Oh, he shot himself in the head. Damn. That shit crazy. Damn, that shit got kind of dark. Anyway, hey. Sad ass. That story. took out damn another week, another episode, man. Nah, what else y'all got to bring to the table tonight, man? Who else? Who else pitching something? Y'all wow, man. That nigga Steno said, oh, got down. Knees, I did. Y'all seen how yeah, Cordy um, yeah. went and took a piss test and came up dirty for fitting on. But allegedly. Yeah. There was a starstruck employee that could have got the piss sample misconstrued. There go again, Tino. There go oh, again. Oh, shit. Call that black. God but he going God. to uh, rehab, drug rehab. That's shit. Y'all got about 30 days. <laughs> and ain't got my Jolly Ranch at the end. Y'all about to say, did y'all see that nigga go off on a Jolly Ranch like a fucking... Like he must have seen one of them hoes, son. There's some odd right, shit just to ask why you already in court. Yeah. Like, can I have a Jolly Ranch out of you? Hey. Like, who the fuck? That's a nigga who know he just whooped these folks. 
Now we just went on the table. He taunting him. And I seen she was trying to hide that bitch. I'm going to be like, hey, shit, let's get one of those dollar rush. Let's get one of those dollar rush. You done with it, bitch, Doug. You on? Is that another one? Why you so crazy? Is that another one of them Drake situations? Yeah, yeah. Now that's a lot. Of course. Of course. See what I'm saying? Of course. Anybody else, they on probation. Nigga would have no. been in jail out this hole. He out on bond, and then you go and take a piss test, and you're fucking dirty off of fentanyl at that. Man. Anybody else, regular Schmay, last person with a public defender, they going to jail. Oh, yeah. Y'all should tell oh, folks yeah. they shouldn't try to commit. Shouldn't try to commit mm. crimes, you broke. Hey, oh, goddamn. Unless you want to keep out going to jail. We got yeah. down. If you trying to commit crime, being a gang and all that shit, make sure you got money. Make sure you're not gonna have a public <laughs> defender. Yeah. Make sure somebody's gonna be sending you come and here some money in that bitch. <laughs> you feel me? Make sure you got some loyal people who got down, you feel me? If you do, gotta go. That shit got an inspiration. Some of these just be gangsters don't have nothing. That shit yeah. got an inspiration day, though. You're gonna be in the hole to pull the defender, but you pull up and so yeah. gangsta out this hole. All this money you pull up and getting, but you gotta get a public defender. Nigga made all that money in the street and that bitch starving. That's crazy. You probably just came out better with a job, my nigga. Oh, God. You had some health care. You feel if you die, you don't got to get you no know, go find right. out this hoe. None of that shit, nigga. Kid straight. That shit crazy, dog. I think just die and die. Yeah, nigga just be on that, like, no direction. Leave a nigga goddamn with nothing but some fucking bills. With the temptation say he ain't leave us nothing but alone out of this hoe. Shit, that's it. Nah, for real, though, man. That shit crazy, man. Tighten up, though. If you want them kind of people. Yeah, if you ain't gonna have that, have that. And some of these niggas be gangster with no car. Yeah. Ooh, if I could get to you right now, nigga. You gotta go buy somebody else's car to go shoot up the house. That's crazy. Buy a car to get a job. Right. Do something productive. That nigga, that was crazy as fuck, yeah. Hey. Hold another, hold another thing, right? What's the signs that your old girl? You get new meat. Mm. Like, what you mean? Like my old lady? Like, we yeah, right, like, like if, if you dang your girl, you with your girl, she, every day you see Oh, I'm with her? Oh, Lord. And mm. she go to doing, like, her pattern change and shit. And you like, God damn, I think. But what's some shit that's a dead giveaway? I mean, I'm probably not as fucking that much. Fucking. She might be getting fucked, and it ain't you. What she did get with? Yeah, yeah, definitely, probably just not fucking that much. Not fucking that much, not getting like that much of affection. Cause she might feel the type of bad, like damn, I just sucked this other nigga dick and just fucked him. I don't want him just to stick it raw meat in, but try to kiss me. Or goddamn, I'm gonna try to hey, shit. I don't, I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but goddamn, you feel me? The kind of standoffish. Yeah. Type shit. Um, or trying to put something back on you. Damn, you took it out. You took it off in the side. I'm going to say, God damn, that lack of reciprocity or evil reciprocity. Like, you want to play the blame game all the time. Or, like, if nigga aggress on you, God damn. Yeah, like, intention is, at some point, it starts to seem like intentional <clears throat> arguing. Yeah, yeah. getting mad over no reason. Right. They cranking some shit up. So even on the other side, what would you say is some dead giveaways for a man? Like your nigga out getting some new pussy and you just know Shit, like, that's what I was saying for real. I mean, I'm not you know. fucking with no bitch, of course. So um, you know, lack of communication, like we're not talking no more distancing yourself, not wanting to be affectionate, shit like that. Right. Trying to start arguments. Yeah. Um yeah, niggas really just be giving themselves away though. For Damn, real. nigga be breaking routine, man. I be trying to tell niggas, bro, y'all you gotta stop breaking routine, stop creating them. You ain't got to worry about breaking them. But I'm the type of bitch who like, <clears throat> I'm real bad at ghosting people. So yeah. people probably always think I'm on some motion, but I really just like being by myself. Like it really just be hard to be with other folks because I have I got a lot of shit going on. So I, I feel bad for the folks who like actually be having shit going on and they don't really know how to cope. So niggas be thinking, niggas or bitches be thinking that they fucking off or they doing some other shit when you know they really trying to get themselves together and get get their life right. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> that's true. 
Because so sometimes you could be trying to get yourself together and coming out because you're doing some bullshit because mm-hmm. of the isolation it takes to elevate. Yeah. That is, that's a good ass point. You made a point then. For sure. Hell yeah. Now, I was just wondering though, man, because I had overheard a nigga today talking about he thought his girl was getting some new meat and shit. He was like, well, she just. You don't need to get the get in the bed the same. I'm like, what the fuck is it? Like, Damn. Yeah, awesome goddamn dead giveaways. They had a motherfucker. Sometimes, too, like, Yo. if a bitch mm-hmm. is getting in the bed, they feel like sometimes niggas don't even want to check on them. They see a bitch getting in the bed as soon as she too her ass up to go to sleep. They ready to fuck. Ask her what's wrong with her. See if yeah. she okay. That thing, affection is the answer to everything. When you know, communication is the answer to everything. Nigga, you ready to put that lump on you. Right. I'm fucking up at you. I'm gonna give us some dick that'll make it feel good. Yeah, no, nigga, your bitch is stressed. Some yeah. dick ain't gonna heal her. That is. What, what, they know a trick they had to say got them baby mama problems. <laughs> it <laughs> can't solve. Oh, yeah, <laughs> hey, nigga. For real. Hey, nah, that's some real shit, man. Sometimes motherfuckers be emotionally drained and shit. For real. Yeah. That's some real shit. I just wanted to see y'all POV on that shit, man. What about you? Well, nah, Tino did get his too. So. Yeah, I, I mean, hey. Yeah. I don't be knowing though. Yeah, I said I ain't even shit. You know, I got down. I'm not. I don't be in relationship. I don't be knowing no patterns. Yeah. You know, say just be a good person, man. For sure. That's it. Yeah. Be a good, genuine person with me. So yeah. yeah. We'll never fall out. Oh God, I can, I can take that shit. Cause so, I mean, really, that's all it really required to have a good relationship. Two people being good, genuine people, like. Yeah. Being good, genuine people covers a lot of ground. And understanding. I'm a very understanding person. Right. You tell me something, I don't see it. I can't do nothing but respect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might not like it. it. I ain't really say I'm just agree with it and got down like it, but see, I don't understand it. Mm-hmm. I tell folks, hey, if I'm in your way, right. I don't got no problem get the fuck on. Let me know. Sometimes that shit will cut down confusion. You just going to say what it is. It be the problem. Right? Other people don't do the shit, though. Mm-hmm. I got down, you feel me? Like, shit, Charlotte, we ain't had to play this whole time. Right. You could have been said, you feel me? Shit was going on, or you feel me? Your life ain't where it's supposed to be right now. Or right. You don't got time for a nigga. We had to play none of these, got down. <laughs> you could have been talking. I love you, you love me, got down. Shit, yeah. I can't got down. I want to spend every day with you. Right. Mm-hmm. My cook run up low. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I take being good, genuine, right. wholesome really? people. I think that shit cover a lot of bases. When you just being a good, genuine person, you got them going to want to communicate. You're going to want to talk. You're going to want to got them not do nothing bad. If you're genuine, you're going to have, I, I would assume, you're going to have pure intentions if you're a genuine person. So, like, that shit cover a lot of bases it takes to cover the requirements of a good relationship or a healthy relationship. At least the foundation. So yeah, I can fuck with that. That's some real shit. Y'all got them the way out. Only tonight, nah. Y'all do. Oh, I'm kind of you feel me. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of that type of person. What you try, mean? I try to control what I can. Shit, that really. At least they got damn my part in it. Yeah. At least try to help people control their part too. So you ain't got to goddamn think you got bullshit with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That real. That but shit, can't control. He's <clears throat> goddamn um. Uh, Motherfucking Russians on um, flying bomber planes over goddamn <laughs> United Kingdom. Y'all concerned about Kodak Black and Tumba Lee and such and such fighting. Y'all need to be worried about the goddamn uh, Russians. But what the fuck I'm supposed to do about that? Right. Unless right. I'm a motherfucking superhero or something, goddamn, fly over that bitch. <laughs> hey, I'll cut it out before I got down. I can't <laughs> fucking do yeah, shit no about that. Then they got. <laughs> I can be informed in the motherfucker, goddamn. I can have all the knowledge I want to on that shit. Hey, I niggas know, goddamn, nigga. They playing the motherfucking Super Bowl. They gonna come and blow everybody up in the earth. Uh, How the fuck am I supposed to? Yeah. What can I do about that? <laughs> yeah. You're right. You, I fuck with you. Absolutely correct. What the fuck am I supposed shit, to do? Yeah, I was tearing apart over there. Y'all goddamn <laughs> worry about some celebrity gossip. This celebrity gossip is more entertaining and fun to me. They don't see our, I mean, y'all heard a person on Joe Biden. He's talking about some, hmm, I might be a white boy, but I'm not stupid. The fuck? Like, that, how they correlate? That's what I was saying. He was at a Black History Month program, but I'm saying, like, our president, oh. our, our president talking, like, it'd be pure He's comedy. Like, though. I feel as though people in 
presidencies like that, they're supposed to be on some serious. I, I understand you got personality and shit, but like, right. just like you said, us as a collective, we are going to be worried about Tommy having a boxing match and Kodak getting bitten on and his shit. Mm. Them niggas is supposed to be worried about the fact that we about to be in war, supposedly, and it's aliens, and it's a fucking white balloons flying from China into it. <laughs> like, that's the shit they supposed to be worried about, but this is shit we seen on TV. Like, you feel me? It's just like, is this a joke? Like, uh, I don't be getting it. I, 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 um, I can't. And they yeah, don't I want us to be the chain. What the fuck we gonna do? We don't got the sort of the resources and the president to yeah, keep keying on television. Like, I don't know what and to he's do. he's so lost. He's been <laughs> lost. Like, he's an old man. Like, he's legit like a, a real old man. Like, he can't remember shit. Like, his whole day is, like, written down. That he got the step by like minutes hey, by minute. Come on, Biden. You know, we're supposed to be at the Oval <laughs> Office right now. Yeah. That nigga probably got the mission and everything. He probably yeah. thinking in a whole different place. <laughs> you calling people that's not damn shit. Hey, hey, <laughs> Biden, snap out of it. You just take a pill, take a medicine today. Now go to the pharmacy, go pick up your yeah. goddamn medicine out there. Bro, yeah, like, it's no way, bro. Like, bro, he's so lost. <laughs> oh my god now he was I, he was talking right at the event it was just what he said he's talking about, so i might be a white boy but i'm not stupid i've been knowing what the power was i knew about the divine nine and he was talking about why he spent so much time in Delhi. you know i'm not really woke up on the presidency and shit like what they yeah. be having going on but he said something about spending so much time in delaware blah 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 I took it as this nigga done got him some black pussy, so like he hyping this shit up. Like he had a Black History Month program, right. you know. I don't know if y'all saw, but Kamala's husband had kissed his wife on the lips. Yes. Yeah. And then like how they greeted each other in front of everybody. They were like, hey, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, but God, see, they man. probably is into some old freaky swinging type shit. Like, oh, bitch, we fighting. Yeah. Bitch, yeah. you kill my motherfucking wife on the goddamn yeah. lips. Them yeah, fighting words. That's gonna be the I'm gonna fight by the bitch. Die. They gonna be goddamn. They be like, oh shit, you fighting by the hoe, yo. Uh, I had yeah, a slap yeah, like, about that shit. Fuck. That's crazy. Damn bitch, so what good. the fuck you got, man? Y'all been kissing out this hoe. This how you greet uh, niggas. Yeah. What the fuck? Y'all mm. just do this Y'all do this all the time? Nah, hell no. Nah. I'm gonna like crazy. goddamn. Shit, I don't be like it. I don't like when niggas just think it's an obligation to hug a bitch I'm talking to. Like, then it's like, I got a bitch I'm fucking with. And one of my partners just think is like, oh, what's up, sis? Just try to make sure that you got done, have a hug, a son type of got done. This shit ain't no. Yeah. Nigga, me, I don't need hug up. unless they just come up and walk with my mama hug my got done. We don't must have no long conversations. Right. Like, my partner, the old lady, somebody they talking to, they come in, I'm got done. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm on about my way. I'm not finna yeah. move niggas out the way to come try to hug you. Yeah, don't be overly excessive with the love. I'm like, yeah, shit, don't get no shit. This shit ain't no just free five. Yeah, this yeah. ain't got to hug out this bitch. Yeah, man, Tino be over. Tino be got them still, man. Hey, no, nah, ain't like that. Just be like, we not, not nigga. We not nigga. Be that nigga say I ain't pressed. Nah, I don't do that. Uh, nah, I'm fucking with you. Oh yeah, you know I ain't never got down. Yeah. I tell you, I don't never be jealous. And the lady you fuck with probably like that kind of shit. Like, oh, that nigga be. Yeah, she feel goddamn like she got a, a bubble around her, a Tino bubble. <laughs> nah, I ain't finna come up there, bitch, and got hey, Nah, nigga. not like that. But she, shoulder is, pads she, on a, on she a cold shoulder niggas out of respect for you because she already know how you feel about that. Oh, so, my, you see my, you see my bitch out, goddamn? Yeah. Like, ain't no, there ain't no time for conversation. You feel me? Like, there ain't no, like, oh, hey, shit, what's up? Right. I'm gonna acknowledge you, but shit, they gonna be yeah, about exactly. it. I mean, Walmart and the other sis, mm. I see you. Oh, shit, what's happening? And they're just, we just so to see each other. Yeah. I ain't finna make my way over there. Got... Nigga ain't gonna go out of their way to do no shit. I see what you're saying. That's just how I be, though. Not saying I got down. Some niggas just might be doing this shit on some. That one, you feel me? Yeah. That's just how I be. Not saying my shit right, but I just gonna be. I don't, it's I don't give a fuck about hugging your, your old lady. I don't give a fuck about right. speaking to her. That's your old lady. Right. You just speak out of respect, but it ain't gonna be no overly extensive like that. But that we just knew each other before. Yeah. Tight shit. And you just so happened that's your old lady now, but like we just been friends before or something. Right, right. Might right, still right. you feel me, but these niggas be too. Now you wanna follow my bitch on, on Snapchat and got down social media. Nigga, oh, nigga, 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 nigga try to back down. You ain't got down. You, 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 you
was screaming, motherfucker, before I got to talk to him. Look, why you still like that? Why you still like that? You still, <laughs> man, you still like you that, got, man. Man. No, I ain't I'm talking about. Yeah. No, I don't got nobody. I'm good. Back over, man. I'm good. I don't got nobody got that. How you feel? Yeah. No. I don't claim nobody. You don't claim nobody. Fuck you. Nobody claim me. I ain't tripping by no bitches. I ain't capping by no hoes. <laughs> I didn't even see no crazy. I like one of the Detroit niggas. Yeah. The Detroit niggas. They be goddamn. I was like, shit. I said, I'm gonna need to get like that. What's my, what's my feeling? Yeah. Fuck it. That's how nigga be, man. Hey, again, though. Real quick, if you're listening to this podcast, you're listening to this podcast on the platform provided by Buzzsprout.com. Hey, if you can't find us on a single platform, Google us. Google us at Righteous Holding the Podcast. Not Google us, but type Righteous Holding the Podcast in Google. We'll pop up everywhere you at. And I ain't even drinking tonight. That nigga, that's what I'm saying. You got to take his uh, weekly bathroom break out this time. I believe right. it's the only time he pissed all week. He's on the show. Yeah, he holds, holds his shit. piss until Wednesday. He holds his piss until the night time. Mm-hmm. I believe it. Then shit. Like, yeah. shit. Nigga, of course you hear this. Nigga, we hear you. He's so crazy, man. Nah, for real. Huh. Google us, man. Right to the podcast, man. We'll pop up everywhere you need to find us. Definitely go get you some of this good ass merch, man. These good prices. Promo code righteous. Shopify.com backslash righteous apparel. Hey. Follow us on Instagram, right to the podcast. That's the name of the page. The link is in the bio. You can definitely hit that link and go straight to the merch link and get you some of this dope ass merch that we got going on. So, hey, also hit Tino 205-427-0303. Like new window cleaning, man. Get your windows looking like new commercial or residential. Hit him, man. He'll come out and do your free estimates, man. You got your paper right. He'll come a little further and get your shit all the way right, man. So, it's dope for sure. And also, if you want to be a sponsor of Righteously the Podcast, hit us at righteouslypodcast at gmail.com. Put sponsorship in the subject line, and we'll get back with you for sure. Hey, let me hit that motherfucker when you get a second. Oh, you want to hit that coke? Yeah. I'm going to turn off on this, bitch. Yeah, hit some coke on He's so crazy. Hey, nah, man. Back to regular schedule programming, though, man. I got another question for y'all while we on this topic, though, of me and the women and all kind of crazy shit in between. Are men too easy? Are us as men too oh, easy? Oh, Lord. Absolutely. Oh, Lord. I say no, man. Oh, Lord. I say I no. I mean, it, that might just be some pretty... We're going to let you go first. Yeah, Are men too we, easy? I, that might just be some pretty girl privilege, but niggas just be easy as fuck. And niggas just be aggy as fuck, too. Niggas be so ready and open to love. Like, they just don't give it time sometimes. I don't know. Niggas be easy. Like, I, I was just talking to a nigga last night. This nigga was trying to get me to put him on my homegirl. He ain't even remember how he met me. He met me from talking to somebody else that I know. Mm-hmm. And that's how we knew each other. This nigga got trying to get me to put him on my homegirl. And he told me, so I would talk to you, but you seem like you a player. Like, you have too much going on. Like, you're easy. That's easy. You a hoe. How that's easy? That's, that's what do you mean? Taking advantage of this opportunity. Taking advantage of too many opportunities. Then I went and tried to put him on the homegirl, and he done talked to her her best friend. He tried. He was just on the phone with her a few days ago. But she, he's just trying to find his way. That's a nigga who just fishing. No, that's just a nigga who's fishing for any fish in the sea. You don't give a fuck what type of fish that is. You can't say that. You don't care if it's bass or scrub. That's a small like cat- sample size. That's small yeah. sample size. He said, hey, look, if I could, I was trying to get the red snubble. Shit. The red snubble was not working, so I'm going to switch uh, away. I'm going to try to catch this bass. I mean, if y'all this bass did. don't work, I'm going mean, to try to catch this. It was three of us. That, he was, that was just a full circle. That's small as sample size as fuck. But he he be around. We know he be around. Like that's even better for him, right? They already know me. He's so this easy. Be a surprise. Right, and any bitch knows that if they try to talk to him, he gonna go for it. Especially if they hang around me, they bad. So I'm still trying to see how this makes him easy. What do you yeah. mean? He doesn't really care about the standard. He don't care. He ain't asked me what that bitch do. You just said they bad. They bad, but I mean, shit, what does that have to do? You easy. You don't give a fuck if that bitch had a boyfriend. You don't give a fuck if that bitch has anything going on. You don't care what she worried. Oh, that's care. irrelevant to him, though. 
depending on what his intentions are. I mean, regardless of the fact, you just trying to give examples mm-hmm. of why it's okay for a nigga to be easy. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Yeah, he, you're like, well, you know, he had options. You know, none of yeah. that bitch you said she's bad regardless. He didn't give a fuck. Yeah. He's easy. I say no simply because like it's a small sample size. Like, you got to try all niggas. Like, if the niggas at YouTube, because like you think about this, right? Think about how many. No you said our men easy, huh? A small sample size. It's a small sample size. What do you mean? Like this is what I'm saying, right? For yeah. Women. Are you saying like speaking upon just the dudes who I encounter or like my type or something? I'm like just that. saying for women in general who feel like you, like yes, men are easy, right? Yeah. So this is what I'm saying. They say that based on the small number of men that they've encountered who may have been easy. That's a small sample size. I mean, so, but you thinking about somebody like me who actually has, like, you know, the amount of followers I have. I could go through my DM right now and niggas who I've never talked to in my life, niggas who I would never even talk to, niggas who are not my type, different type of fishes right. in the sea, but they throwing themselves at me. Therefore, you're easy. But you saying, don't know any. You don't know if I have a nigga or not. You are not trying to. But they got to try you to even know that. Yeah, you're right. Got, so I mean, regardless, niggas is easy though. You feel like bitches are easy. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't feel are like y'all? women are easy. You but see, like I could, easy? I could say easy. that. But again, it's a small sample size because I can't speak for all women because the women I turned down. But that's not the easy. question. Like this is your opinion. No, this. Oh, okay. It is opinion based. It is opinion based. Hers, hers. Yes, yeah. she believes men yeah. are easy. You I saying say, that I men don't are believe, not easy? Okay, so as far as men, yeah, right, as far as men, I don't feel like us as men are easy because of how many no's we get. The guys you give no's to might be guys who are not easy, who might require something for you to fuck. So the guys who throwing themselves at you are the guys you can handpick and just get that may seem easy. They seem easy because that's what you was already gravitating towards. I mean, yeah, whatever. But like, I'm getting, I'm, <laughs> old, I'm older now, and like the dudes yeah. who used to throw, I don't. I'm trying to go for the nigga who ain't even looking my way, like who I find attractive, of course, who I've been observing, like somebody and then, who's not easy. Yeah, somebody who's not easy. So if I sit down and I talk to you and I throw, like, not the, you feel me, shoot my shot or whatever, and You're you. Right grasp up on that shit you're you you not easy but you was holding on to try to get i don't know i mean in my in, in some way that do seem like you easy it just took a convert it just took somebody actually trying to what's the word so either way a nigga easy if a nigga not yeah. if a nigga out the way and you come try i don't him. hate niggas now i'm not so going on because you just you just contradict yourself i did contradict myself i was trying to help i was trying to help the niggas <laughs> And then I just fucked y'all up again. I was like, you know, I'm gonna try to be y'all. Y'all be though, y'all be contradicting y'all self, man. That's why we can't. That's why we can't figure this shit out. I mean, we be said, contradicting ourselves, but what y'all be saying from the jump up and making sense anyway. So how? Because you just said, well, look, you said what? What you were saying at first about how it's a small, so small a sample size. Yeah, right. That was not making sense at first. Because I mean, regardless, if a nigga don't care about what's going on and they mm-hmm. just want to fuck, they just trying to fuck with Shawty, they easy. But if he out the way and you shoot your shot at him and he grasps he up not on easy. that shit, you not just easy. said he was. I'm saying like it just be the fact. It just be you feel me? You know how whenever you keep on putting fucking sausage links on the fucking hook and it take forever for that damn fish to get it, but you see that fish down there ain't that bitch, and then they finally get a hold of it and you like damn bitch, you could have fucking been grabbed that shit. So he so the me? fish easy. Uh-huh. Is he is the fish easy? He know what I'm saying he's not easy, but that, from my eyes and my perspective, it's like all I had to do was talk to you for you to like. So what a nigga supposed to do? Write you a letter? What a nigga no, I'm to- saying that's good. I'm <laughs> saying niggas is not easy on that. You just trying to get me to contradict myself. You keep asking me the same question over and over. Tino, what was your opinion? <laughs> Y'all you said- think niggas are easy, and do you think bitches are? Do you easy? think us and men are easy, or do you think women are? They just think women are easy. Yeah. Just me. Yeah. Like that. I got to go all what I got down. I never had no hard time fucking a bitch. Yeah. Again, the bitch. Every bitch I ever fucked was easy. They eat you. Yeah. Well, I ain't going to say every bitch. Nah, I lie. I lie. Mm-hmm. 90%. But that would be on some mutual shit. Both of Like, I don't just try to talk to bitches who don't want to talk to me and just keep trying to talk to you till you, till you be like, 
all right, shit, nigga, here. Mm-hmm. Boom, now you want to talk to him. Nah, I give up easy. Like, God damn, you want to talk to me out the first time? That shit probably be the last time we talk. Oh, but usually, a lot of times, shit, right. you want to talk to me, I want to talk to you. Yeah. Shit. Either the first link, first time we talk, we going to goddamn hit it all type shit. A lot of times, shit be mutual, you feel me? Right. Like, I, like I said, that's me. Mm-hmm. I never had no hard time, you feel me? Trying to get it ain't no bitch I've been trying to shoot at for five years and I finally got a hell nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I say niggas are more easier on some goddamn, it might be more likely for a bitch to goddamn go out and goddamn get her nigga, you feel me, same night than it would be for a nigga. Mm-hmm. Nine times out of ten. So the nigga might be like shit. Well, I got down, came out and got what I was looking for, so shit. Right. If that's his type. Mm-hmm. Cause I might not be easy to a lot of bitches. Right. So I got a certain little type. They might come up to me, try to talk to me and got down. The like casting over had a bit. Right. Yeah. told me, I'm exposed this huh? I ain't gonna <laughs> He this said I'm exposed here. Nah, right to told me still fuck me like right now on the spot. Yeah. Out this bitch. Damn. She want my type though. I mean, I wouldn't, I mean, of course, I wouldn't have fucked that after anyway. There's no yeah. way to fuck. We got down, mm-hmm. like, it just depends yeah. on who trying to talk to who. That makes sense. Yeah, man. Everybody needs some shit. I said, especially both of y'all want to talk to each other. If it's on yeah. some shit, I've been waiting on you to say something to me, goddamn shit. Hell yeah, yeah, boom. Yeah. So it ain't easy if it's mutual. It's only easy if one person just overly got it. Yeah. Yeah, and that's how it is most of the time. Right. That's why I be seeming like niggas. You just come up there home. She go out tonight and got there, walk up to a nigga, be like, oh, you sexy, fuck, bye. Mm, and he, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, she, <laughs> he go by, got there. She, what you want to do? We can got there. She, I go pay for a room. I got there. We can go back right to my now. spot, go to yeah. your spot, shit. Yeah, uh, that's easy. Yeah. If I got there, go out, see a bitch, damn, so you fine as hell. By this right. bitch a shot and got there. And yeah, now she want to go fuck a nigga, suck a nigga dick and shit. Yeah, you easy. Mm-hmm. Cause I was gonna say we gotta define what easy is too, though. Like, what what do we what do we proclaim? Easy, easy is no effort. There's no effort. And niggas say that's no effort. Yeah. That 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 what I define easy to be. I don't gotta plan no maximum outcome. All they gotta do is come up to you and got down. Hey, shit, sorry. Mm-hmm. Like you fine as hell, got down. You don't got no niggas. What you doing tonight? Like, right. You wanna come back with me when we leave you? Know? I got down, set some shit up. First mm-hmm. time we link, we fuck. First time we got down, even if the spare phone got to take out, no up for real. Yeah, nigga ain't got to spend no bread. Man, you know how niggas got down. If I was about to be somewhere, how we just smoked, watched Netflix, drunk a couple shit, we fucked, that was it. You know, yeah, ain't going to yeah, find her yeah. easy. But at the same time, you was easy too, to her. Yeah. Because she going to be like, shit, I ain't got nothing to do nothing with it. So, go, you feel yeah, me? So, that shit just go how you look at it. Yeah. It's all about perspective. I think that shit POV. I fuck with it. Hey, yeah, yeah. And I'm glad we could define what easy is so that way it made more sense. Right? But See, like, like you said. It's on the hard. Nine times out of 10. I ain't saying that, okay, it's going to be hard. That person on rice want to fuck with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like a lot of people are just easy in the moment as well most of the time. So that's why mm, I said as a collective, people a can point. be easy. In the moment. I mean, yeah. when two people are vulnerable and in the moment, you feel me? Right. It's easy to be easy type shit. Like like that's how, that in a while, a lot of relationships don't last, but that should be temporary. temporary. Yeah. And then y'all done started off on the wrong note. Now y'all both vulnerable. Y'all don't fucked or whatever. Now there's no expectations. Like, if you're the type of person to like to go on dates or you're the type of person to like to do certain stuff, I mean, there's no expectation because you fucked on the first night. Yeah. We first, we fucked shit the first link. So that should kind of be fucking up shit, too. I get to know people be easy and vulnerable in the moment. But that's yep. all about growing up, too. You feel me? Knowing Trial your limits, area, your boundaries, yeah. making sure you figure out what you want, what you need in life. Don't be so vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Tight shit. Hell yeah, yeah. That shit makes a lot of sense. Speaking of that relationships and vulnerability, you got down. What's up with it? Kind of, but not really, but sort of. Yo. If you got down married to your, uh, your spouse, who the whoop? Y'all got them at the mall. They do a diamond tussle thing. Your wedding ring fake. <laughs> Damn. You, what you doing? You got to go to the mall, goddamn, Lex. 
you and your husband got there. They do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can test it. Big ass ring. Woo, woo. <laughs> husband over there, bitch. Sweating like a motherfucker. They tell that bitch. That bitch got there. Take his head. Cupid's conium. I'm going to be mad, of course. Like, the <laughs> fuck? I, first of all, I probably would have tested at her before we even got to a mom. And I would have been caught your ass the fuck out because don't fucking play with me like that, baby. As soon as I got this next episode, the first thing I did was get the diamond tested because I don't want nobody lying on me and had somebody coming up to me yeah. and had me looking stupid. But definitely, would, I probably would not be showing too much attention to it on the cameras. I'd be like, oh. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but after that, that nigga getting cussed the fuck out. Because what the fuck? Do I look like a fucking vending machine, wedding wing ass bitch? Are you going to, like, immediately take it off or, like, you going to get down? I'm going to wait till we get out the mall because I'm going to stick beside my man because clearly I married you, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, look, baby, shit. I knew it was fake, but got down. That's the best you feel I can come up with. You nigga, you could have kept that shit. The fuck? We didn't have to get married right now. You could have saved up for it. Damn. The be- mm. For better or worse. For so he don't got no ring? If he if he, if he can get no real ring, yeah, he have to wait to yes. marry you? Yes. What if we be like? We get matching tattoos. No. I get this AO right here. You get got down. Damn. That we can still, still carry them. We matching got. tattoo, but we're not married. Mm. They were still carrying me. Why got they got their tattoos and they wear them. He play no basketball. He can't wear no ring all the time. She want to be bitches. Tonight. Nah, I mean, there's a lot of people can't wear no ring all the time. But yeah. I mean, shit, that's not me though. I'm not. Uh, you can't say for the ring. I feel as though like if this is what we doing, and I'm if I know my worth and my value, shit, you give me that ring. What if it be like, like, hey, look, that ring don't got down. Fuck that ring. I'm gonna buy you another fake one. <laughs> now we gonna have now we gonna have some issues and somebody sleeping on the couch and it's not gonna be me and we not gonna oh. be talking for a minute now because now you just doing too much like let's just uh, make an agreement or agree to disagree and eventually when I get over it shit I'm like I'm agreeing to disagree about the ring y'all well, you gonna marry the wrong bitch <laughs> you gonna find you a Sandy hoe who gonna do that shit what you doing uh oh, hey boogie you and that hoe got down again again if you oh, if you in the wedding ring. Damn. If you in the uh, if you in the mall, uh-huh. and they got there doing the diamond tails and shit. Your wife, your wife just so happy. I know it'd be a gold band. You feel more the time. I right, mm-hmm. let's say she got two. You feel me? One with about two, three diamonds in that hoe. Mm-hmm. They got damn tissue with him read. That be got damn. Woo woo woo. She mm-hmm. glass. What you doing? You you addressing her? You addressing this nigga? You like hey nigga? <laughs> hey nigga? Make sure the back nigga you playing? Nah, it'll be underneath. I'd be so weak. <laughs> <laughs> then what she just looking to like? Fuck, oh, damn. Why you had to test? Oh, don't test it. Uh, yeah, you're like, nah, go on test it. That'd be it. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Knowing me, bro, I'm probably FaceTime you, bro. And when I FaceTime you, I'm gonna tell the fuck to do that shit again, bro. I'm gonna say, hey, bro, hold on. Do this he wants some extra laughter in this hole. I'm be like, Tino, look, bro, hold on. Check this out. Nigga, do it one more time. The nigga gonna be like, doo, 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 doo. I'm gonna just hang up. Bro. I'm gonna be weak. I'm gonna just be weak. Bro. That's me. I'm gonna just be weak. Bro. It's the old, like, Charlie, you tried. Damn. Now like, we gotta start. Is you, over. is you, is you, um, you said start over? Yeah, we gotta start over. You gonna tell everybody you another one? Bro, like, you is you gonna take that one off? Count. Like, whatever we is you not gonna, gonna care about it? Whatever we've been doing up to this point don't even count. Shit. Damn. Damn. So the way we fight, you saying the whole relationship yeah, will fight. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm bullshitting. I'm bullshitting. Nah, you dead ass. I'll be, I'll be weak, though. But I'll be like, I got to get you. I got to get my lips. Bro. You got some fake shit on. Hey, right, look. Nah, you want them mean? Yeah, I got to get my lips. What she going to do? Nah, I'm going to be weak. I'm going to be weak. I'm going to tell you, but I don't know. I'm going to again. <laughs> you playing, guys. I'm going to be one of them niggas. But your shit playing. Tell this. Tell my earrings and son got that. Fred, let me make sure you got your shit calibrated. When that shit come back real, fuck, that whole is fake. What you do if you, you buy? Knew, you knew the whole fake. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I'm got that. I'm a look up. You knew the whole fake. Got that. They tricked you. Now they tricked you. Now I got that. We got to go talk to these niggas. Hey, shit. Hey, man, you done sold my. Let me see the paperwork. You got them laughing at me out there, man. What you saying it was? You said it was a VL1? Yeah. Oh, nah, hell nah. no. Nah. This ain't no GA, GI, GA, G, shit. GIA. Ain't nothing certified about this, though. This ain't no name. 
That's yeah. what I was about to say. What, you, what would y'all do if y'all bought the ring and then you just found out when they tested it that it was fake? My boy got some auto tunes on this, huh? Yeah, you they taste the way I bought it. I'm saying no. After you bought it, and you with your girl, you like, yeah, baby, let me test that shit. I know that shit. Oh, baby. and I'm the nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, go- I'm going straight. I'm going straight back to goddamn where I got this bitch from. That nigga that retarded. I was like, I bought the jewelry. I'm gonna tell them, nigga, before I buy that bitch, hey, hit that hole that diamond and tell them. Yeah. On every goddamn. Sure, you gotta make sure that hole real. You feel me? That's the only way to do it, though. That's the only way to do it, my nigga. Make That's sure this hole right. Hey, so what if it's real? What if, what if we come back on the diamond and tell them? But yeah. they got, let's say they got a $300 diamond and tell them, though. Your shit come back in more than nice. Yeah. Because you know them hoes, they'll pass a little $15 uh, diamond and tell them. But you know, they got other ones that be glad, Morrison mm-hmm. Knight, Ben Diamond. Right. Y'all tripping about the Morrison Knights? Yeah. Morrison Knights? Yeah. It depends that, on what you're told. That, that, that's what I said. They'll be the niggas who got them big ass, Cubans, cub- uh, what we call the big ass train, all them hoes got them flooded. What the $350,000? be Morrison Knights. Mm. Yeah. Because don't hold real, no, that shit be way more than. Nah, I'd be my, nah, you get a little motion like chain like that, probably about four, five hundred dollars. I'm talking about, yeah, if it was righteous, you know what, what I said, real, yeah, that shit would be fucking like three hundred fifty thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, though, if you again back to what you was asking the first time about like your partner buying you some shit, like it's all about what you sold me. Like if you just talk about this motherfucking ring every day, you just like, oh, baby, you got that goddamn, you got that motherfucker on, like. And you making me feel like this shit is what it is, then nah, hell no. Nah. But like, I'm not going for that. Like, I go for some other shit. Like, you like, baby, I'm glad you like your ring. Like, some humble shit. Cool, we can do that. But not no goddamn. Like, you telling me, oh, yo, this, this, that, this motherfucker. They putting the pads on it, putting it on. We yeah, got that like, social media. You just bragging. My husband like, got that shit on. Too. Yo, I don't like that. Don't do that. Hell no, nah, don't do that. Because. Mm-hmm. That's gonna fuck it up. So when I find out they fake, I'm like, damn, you've been constantly bullshitting. Like bullshitting once or twice, but don't keep bullshitting. Like, yeah, that's just like whenever females mm-hmm. be buying gifts for themselves and they're saying they nigga bought it. Yo, that's on their Valentine's right. Day card. Look at what he look at what he wrote me. Ah, right. That said, hell no, nah, that's a female writing. I oh, did God. Me. Yeah. Nigga be bullshitting, man. Don't try to be doing that shit to yourself. It's all for image and perception. That's how yeah. that shit be. When a whole relationship, um, what call so shit. Yo. Bitch, y'all rather shit. got down, be rich, and never find y'all one to be. Mm-hmm. Or got down, be broke, find y'all, you feel perfect, somebody. I'm going to be rich and lonely. Oh, yeah, I'd say rich and lonely. Fuck out of I've been shit. broke what all my it? life. Fuck, I want to be broken with a motherfucker for I gotta be broke like I've been and then look at your ugly ass. Hell right. no. Nah. That shit gonna, I told y'all before, that shit gonna cause a lot of problems, bro. Hell yeah, no. Nah. Like, fuck that. Like, both us broke? Or just me broke? <laughs> yo, like, what's the, yo, like, what's the situation? We I, both broke, like, shit. Let, let's just say you're the breadwinner. <laughs> yo. In this situation. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. You said both of y'all broke. Like, on some, um, yeah, nah. Yo, y'all trying to get out there and get with the rich person. Yeah, no. Nah. Y'all just gonna be mediocre? Yeah. Oh, regular lives. I just say, I ain't gonna say just broke. I just say just regular lives. Y'all just make y'all got down, we feel um, $150,000 uh, between the both of y'all a year type shit. Right. Y'all got down, or you could just be mansion and got down, sports car, Rolls Royce, but you never find got down, like, you 71 and single out this hole. Like I'm mm-hmm. still, I'm still like fucking and dating. Yeah, yeah, you can got that, you feel, oh, yeah, but you never it. find nobody who writes oh, you. Feel yeah, whatever, nigga. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with it. Jasmine. Yeah, I'm with it. What you doing? You gonna be decent with your uh, significant other, having a mediocre ass life? Yeah, what you gonna be? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Why not? I'm life? doing this shit now. Meet somebody, talk, quit talking, boom. Don't talk to nobody for a minute. Meet somebody quick. If I can do that shit rich, that shit be way more fun. Yeah, at least we're <laughs> making an experience. How you feeling? Rather doing the shit broke? Yeah, 
Bitch broke up with me and got down Africa, been in Jamaica somewhere. Like, nigga you broke feel up with me. Like, we, you did. Yeah. Yeah, hey, so look. I seen her. We were at the Ferrari dealership. I'm tired of goddamn yeah. flying your private jet. You think you better than goddamn everybody and you got yeah. down. Go back to your little mansion. You stayed up by yourself long last. Right. You got all these rooms and nobody want to live with you. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I'm goddamn. Yeah, money shit. Yeah. I'm always on that. Mr. Lonely. Yeah, I'm so lonely. <laughs> Y'all need to funny as fuck, man. Nah, hell nah. I'm definitely with you on that, though. Shit. I can't knock you when you're right, my nigga. But that's not everybody. That's not everybody shit, though. Nah, it definitely ain't, though. That's definitely perfect. Right. Some people literally have find so much happiness in just being with somebody. Yeah, like they stay home. Like, I give a fuck. We stay in the goddamn trailer out this hoe. As long as I got you with me. Yeah. Well, that might be that might be some fun shit to experience, too. But You got down having somebody who writes it down with you? On some rights, you got what? down, like. <laughs> huh? You said what? I said right. having somebody that writes it down with you. Like no oh, matter down, down with you. Yeah, I it thought sounds you like said, you said dying. dying. Yeah, bitch, you gonna die with me oh, too. Oh, I thought you said we love each other, bitch. When I die, you die. Yeah. Both of you out there, you gonna be enjoying yourself when I'm out this hoe. Look, that nigga, that that selfish hell. Yeah, bitch, this bitch till till death <laughs> do us part out this bitch. Nah. Yeah. He finna die and be having fun when I'm gone. That nigga says he ain't gonna he die would, and be having fun. He would want me to move on. Mm-mm. Ah, damn, you ain't like that. Mm-mm, no, I wouldn't. You gonna hunt your, you gonna hunt your late wife out there, ho? Nah, man, that nigga be trying to come back while I be sleeping and shit. Right. That nigga got them in that bitch opening and closing the window and shit. They get down to My worst than a nigga in prison. I did so. A nigga wake up to the pillow hitting him. <laughs> Every time you try to get you a little piece, I'm being the whole goddamn cut the TV on and shit, turn the bitch up, honey. <laughs> They just gonna have to go somewhere else and get that. Nah, he a ghost and shit. So he gonna I'm be in the back seat. Yeah, I'm saying he gonna be fine. I'm being there. <laughs> that nigga just gonna hey, be fine. Nah, you got the little, sp- you got you got that cut the radio down. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I ain't no hater like that. Yeah, that nigga just gonna have to leave your bitch alone. <laughs> oh, God, nigga ain't even gonna fuck with Shotty. Oh, shit. Got down twin. Got down twin. What's got going on over that bitch? Shit, got them moving, shaking and jiving. Shit, I'm all right. I'm all right. We got down doing the duty your ass over there, man. Ha, <laughs> nah, we good. We got all kinds of shit. Still good. Just moving shit around. That shit going on over nah, there, bitch. Nah, I'm talking shit. That nigga, that's so crazy. I, nah, what's up? Now, I just say, too, I be listening to the radio lately. Mm-hmm. Because I ain't got them. I got listen to the radio right now. What's our definition? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I can give me somebody. Who's a one hit wonder? I'm trying to, I was trying to figure out, I heard the shit got that. I was trying to figure out like, who's a one hit wonder? And what defines them as a one hit wonder? Or is there any such thing as a one hit wonder? Mm. I don't know, that's kind of a good question. Uh, It is a such thing as a one hit wonder though. Uh, it's who, a few people whose names came to the top of my dome, but then again, say in my life. No. That's all. Then we can goddamn expand on oh, you. Feel me? I don't want to say in my life. No. I'm trying to say. Oh, 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 you feel me? The first one who came to my because she has other songs, but I mean, whenever your main focus is one song, it's kind of like. But my first person was Mooney Long, the girl who made hours and hours. Okay. Um. Mm. Well, that dude mm-hmm. who made Throw Baby. Okay. Because, I mean, he makes other stuff, but, like, these are songs that... Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Whenever yeah, you come to mind, it's only that one song I can really think of type like shit. Um, Rich yeah. Boy. Rich Boy selling crack. All these niggas <laughs> want check. That's shit, the tight, no check. And all the Cadillac. Throw some D's on that bitch. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, that's that Rich Boy, is out there. yeah, he would be... Definitely hit to the, the, Yeah. Um, I just think once you had that one big moment and then like you never have it again to the point where you're irrelevant, that's the one hit one. Yeah. Like nobody calls you back to do nothing. 
like a lot of people thought that Glow was gonna be a one hit wonder, and now she featuring with everybody. She got all different type of shit coming out type shit. But it, always gonna win. But if that got done, like after you get signed, I be feeling like a lot of people after they get signed, then yeah. Yeah, yeah. Down. Some people they don't get signed, or like the shit just don't shit. They don't got no management. Yeah. No marketing team. A lot of people independent doing this shit, but like I understand that shit. I know that shit be so. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna name a couple guys. They y'all tell me they one hit wonders or not. Hurricane Creek. No. Not a one hit wonder? No. Okay. You think it's a one hit wonder? Uh, and Hurricane Creek. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. When I was in club. Hey, baby. That's the only song I know about him. So so you cla- you classify a one hit wonder? Uh, Chingy. Uh, but I don't know. One hit wonder, but with it being a legendary song, it's just kind of like. But that was it one. That's what I'm saying. What classify him as a one hit wonder? Mm. I guess he made one hit and then you wonder what they did, but like he made that one hit and I don't really give a fuck what he did. I feel like he should have made it. Shit. He made it do what he do. All right, so Everybody Hurricane Chris did you he a one hit one. No. Yeah. Oh. He did. You, you know more songs by him? Who Hurricane Chris yeah. or Chingy? He said Chingy too. Yeah, Chingy was sick. I said Hurricane. Oh, okay. okay, I probably got that. Yeah. Hurricane, Hurricane Chris with his baby. Yeah. So I don't know who Chingy is. Chief, one call away is you are my baby. And the one call away. It's so familiar, but I have to hear the real song. Hold on, let me get them. Please, the, uh, What's the Chingy song? Um, <laughs> when you type in Chingy, this first thing you got down, uh, right there. See, you got right it. there. Yeah, that's that was his big, his big. You song. know that when I ate it right. Third, yeah, right third. yeah. Hey, okay, that yeah. might have been the guy thing because I just know other songs from. Him. But when she <laughs> come to mind, is that the only? I was young as fuck when these people came out. Okay, some new people came out. Like, I was Hidden. not in middle school. Money move. He no, nah, money move got more hits than that. Not one hit one. No, no. Okay. Yeah, I, don't know nah. these I was just listening. To That's sad. I'm so. You know, my yo, this nigga got down. He. Um... Well, I said he posts like made hits in like 2006. No, he no. You probably know this song, Money Bag. You on this song? This shit right here. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. His voice. I feel like I've heard his voice on other shit though, but I don't know him. Okay, this song, my boy. I love McCona. One hit one or not? Oh yeah, I fucked with him. No, he wasn't. Especially if you were in Cali, you knew he was. Okay, not a one-hit mm-hmm. one. All right. Um, yeah. See, well, probably. No, nah, mm-hmm. I fuck with. I ain't gonna lie. I got a lot of. I love McCona songs. I listen to. Mm-hmm. I probably got about. I know. I probably know about sixty songs yeah, from Cali. He was alive. <laughs> nah, I fuck with that nigga. Who else? If, I gotta think. On hold on. If I type it in, I don't know. Let's see, yo, cause I'm trying to see who else you got now. Who else you trying to throw out there? Mm-hmm. I'm finna fuck. Hold on, hold on. I'm finna fuck with you real quick. Yo, what's up? And when none of us alive, at least I don't yeah, think I so. Yeah, I feel like the baby's baby mama, Danny, Danny Lee. Bless stop. Bless stop. Was he a one hit one? Bless <laughs> fuck no. Bless my boy, no one hit one of the best. That's not at all. Too. Am I gonna go home? Not at all. Yo, you don't think you're the one hit one? Hell no. Mm-hmm. You think you're one hit one? No way. No, I think... I'm saying like they used to play a lot of his shit in Cali. Man, I don't know. Cool. Because I define my one hit one does is that's the only songs I know from your ass. Even if I don't listen to you, I heard that song. Yeah. So goddamn, at least I just yeah, of course, nigga. I don't think nobody just made one goddamn song. MC Hammer just didn't make goddamn uh, <laughs> Hammer Pants. Yeah. And goddamn, got a dancing in this bitch. He got some more songs. Right. A uh, certain mix a lot with the um. I like butt. <laughs> my baby got back. Yeah. Nah, uh, no, I like my butt. Butt. My butt got. My butt got nasty. My got nasty in a clean way. I did this. That nigga say he got nasty in a clean way. I like butt. <laughs> like nobody said yeah, that on real. I like rump. <laughs> nah, for sure. That nigga that crazy as fuck. Kiss Wiley. Nah, hell no. Nah. I mean, I know he ain't, but shit, some people probably don't know love in your mouth. Shit, nah. 
Kilo went on and hit one this shit. You, you, you got some good options, though. You got some good names. Trinidad though. James. Yeah. I'll go to my yeah. time. He got some more songs. Is he a one hit one? And he will feature on other songs. Is he a one hit woman? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was his only hit. He feels it right on the fuck out. That, mm. that was his only hit, like hit record, like that did song that made him like. He still has to perform that shit now to go do shows. I'm sure. So yeah. All right, now this is shot in the dark. This might not even, you know, we got down on um, Peter Walk. Mm-mm. Yeah. Not a one hit one. I was actually listening to him whenever he was like popping that shit. Mm. I know multiple songs. But are well, we are we basing this out with? I'm just, I'm just saying. No, nah, I ain't saying. A, I feel like it, it's people who actually was fans of Fetty Wap. Like, yeah, I like. I'm saying, what I say one hit wonder what I define it as. Even if I don't listen to you, I heard multiple of your songs. Right. Even that shit was forced on me. I heard it at the club, but got down, you feel me? I heard the shit on the radio. I heard multiple songs from you. Like, I just didn't have to be a fan and go type in some shit to hear this particular yeah. song right. type shit. That what, that what I'm defining the one hit wonder as. Do so y'all consider sense. Fetty Wap a one hit wonder? I say, yo. Yeah. I say yeah. See, I say no. He got Trap Queen and he got goddamn six seven nine. Which he also had multiple, but both of them, like a trap queen, that could have been one hit one of them, but then he came out with the sound six nine. There she's fine. I'm she's fine. Oh, oh yeah, I ain't never know the yeah. name of that one. Yeah, 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 and then right. Yeah. But see, I still, yeah, he still ain't got no catalog though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hmm. what about Ray Schmurder and them? Mm-mm, hell no. Nah. Um, Ray Schmurder got on tape. They got Black Beetle down there, a billion on YouTube. Yeah, they got got that on shit. Everybody else, some of the other people. They got stuff, but I mean, when they first come to mind, it's only like yeah. one or two songs, like really that one song. When I, I ain't gonna lie, when I say one hit one, I'm talking about you got one hit. Like, that's that one hit that you gonna yeah, got down. One song that you gotta live and die by. Like, you gotta keep performing this whole goddamn. They have yeah. Black Beetle. Yeah. That's about that one song. A lot of shit, especially when that, uh, what that shit was, the mannequin challenge shit. That's the Black Beetle. Yeah, with that, uh, yeah, yeah, Black Beetle. Yeah. What else them boy got? Shit, they got a whole bunch of shit. Yo, they got um, perfect paint. Motherfucking um, what that shit? Called spin the bottle or some shit. That shit. I like, like that. Got, I ain't got no tight. Yeah. I like that shit. Bad bitches with the only thing. What I'm rising now, thinking. No, I'm. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the nigga I was rising, trying to think about. Yo, that would have been a good one. Who that? The nigga I'm trying to fucking think. Huh. I'm saying, I'm trying to hit you. I'm trying to get there's a couple of niggas who got down. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to, to see if they want to hit one or not. Jaheen. Huh? Not, not Jaheen. Jaheen. Jaheen? Yeah. The, the nigga that, that put that lady first. One hit one. Is that Jaheen? No, no, not no one hit one. He ain't no one hit one. That is Jaheen. Yeah. He ain't no one hit one? Nah, hell no. Nah. That nigga was classic. I don't know, I don't know. I can't just, I ain't know. That, I just knew from the nigga that playing that shit. Yeah, he wouldn't know one hit one. I don't know. I might disagree with you on that. What about yeah. Jay Holiday? I'm gonna push you to bed, yeah. the bed, yeah. the bed. Yeah, Ray Lavender. My girl got a girlfriend. Well, I think yeah. it's okay, because I think I like a girlfriend, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one hit one. Yeah. Who else? I remember the Pussycat Dolls. What song? I remember them, but like I don't remember no song. I wanna be famous. I wanna be a star. Mm-hmm. I wanna work. No. Don't you wish you could find one? Oh, I yeah, know. I remember that song. That's them. Yeah. <laughs> don't you wish you could find one with a free like me? Don't you? Yeah, here we are. I'm trying to think who else one hit one did you do that with? Now, now, we can definitely say that MC Hammer is the one hit one. 
He probably got that came up with the turn when he won. MC Helmer? MC Helmer. I want to say, you feel too much because I heard the nigga be goddamn deep with them niggas. Uh-huh. I want them California niggas roll up on me, goddamn. Yeah, 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 but yeah. shit, I. I think he got down the definition of one hit one. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. But he didn't go far out the contract. Then got his money, blew all that shit. And Fuck it. They touched it. <laughs> he touched it quick, too. <laughs> nah, hell nah. Who else? That, shit. that nigga Tino pulled out a list of one hit one. Is that hard? Yeah, no, that, yeah. that shit was like this. It's interesting. Got down. They got to go. Y'all remember Eve? Nah, you went on it. Like my song, boy. Huh? The only song that I really know about her is uh, Love is Blind. Uh, She's that, that girl. Da, 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 He's that girl. Oh, yeah, uh, I remember that. Yo, nigga. Um, uh, fuck. If she I, had another one, I got them. I'm about to say, bro. I don't, know, right? I just don't remember. I don't um, remember that one. Just a hit. Who me, EVE, uh, Rough Rider, uh, fuck, I forgot the, ah, damn, I'm, it's gonna come to me, I tell you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Lil Rue, one here, one. And then here, another nasty song, I love the way she figured with no panties on, and I said, come and put that pussy on. Yeah, one here, one. He was just a hook type of nigga. I'm just saying, one here, one. Yeah, just like Lil Will. Oh, yeah. perfect one here, one. Probably, and niggas don't even know who that is on the beat, on yeah. the hook. They don't. They just know the song. He damn sure so getting check out that bit, though. Yeah, he I probably still. I hope he got his paperwork right. Yeah. He can live out there. He still eating out there. Yeah, he can live out there. He about making a cool look out there. $100,000 yeah. a year off that shit. Maybe more. That and um, he was in, what's his name? Uh, He was in that group. Uh, Wanna be a baller. Shot Kyle. Yeah. I thought it was from goddamn Texas. That yeah. nigga had from California. I don't think about the wrong nigga then. I thought. Yeah, I think he knew the in California. I might be tripping, though. I might be tripping. Yeah. We're going to have to research that and get back to y'all later. Hey, nah, hell nah. If I come back with one here later, later on, I got to make sure I know. <laughs> I, got, I got another one, but What's I can't up? fucking think of that nigga. Nah, nah, go ahead, go ahead. Nah, you good shit. I was going to ask y'all what, what, what else y'all got, man. I don't got them. I'm spent, man. All right, one more. Young uh, Dro. What's up? Young Dro. One here, one or not? No. Nah. Okay. Smoking Dro. Uh, that shit. So you know he the soda land. land. Oh, shit. This is what I was thinking of. Ooh. This is what I was thinking of right here. Young, Young Dro. He yeah. one here, one or no. not? No. No. Hell no. Nah. No. Shit, no. No. No? You don't drop. What else he had other than that? You think? Drop head, that drop head, uh. Come on now. That whole album he said. Nah, he said the whole album. You know the, the names. You know the name of his song. You know the name of the goddamn, um, that shit. What's the, what's the name of it? If he's not a one hit one. <laughs> I let you think Gorilla yeah. Zoe. Lost in the world. Yeah. 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 You got a punch on me. You got that. They broke it up, make it seem like he wanted to fight. Oh, yeah, man. That nigga, that's crazy. Nah, what y'all want to get these? I ain't putting no other nigga name in no paperwork. Real time, I got uh, Tino told me shit. Nah, nigga, ain't snitching, is it? You heard him. Yeah. Why, fuck you. Ah. Fuck you. Hey, <laughs> you Fuck the baby. My dog. <laughs> yeah, fuck the baby. God. Nah, what y'all got for these people before we get up out of here tonight? Keep going. Shit, that's all I could really say. Keep going, man. That's what hustle look like. Yeah. Oh, my. A lot of doing shit you don't want to do. A lot of goddamn waking up early. A lot of going to sleep late. A lot of goddamn 
Hold on a seat. You're doing what you don't want to be doing. What you got to do. Doing some shit, got down. Money. They're not going to get you paid now, but might get you paid later. So, doing some shit. Yeah. It's about a whole bunch of doing some shit. You got to be doing some shit. Right. You got to be shaking. Yeah. She say keep going, you gotta keep on keep going out here. Keep bit. on keeping on out there. A lot of shit she don't wanna do. Mama just say goddamn man, you feel me? Uh that be that be that be nice. Try being nice and got down, you feel me? Just try being genuine, being nice. Right. Being kind, you feel me? Ain't shit wrong with goddamn being nice. You gotta be a mean ass nigga all the time, mean ass bitch all the time. Mm-hmm. I sent you feel me, my co host you feel me? I sent both my co-hosts some money the other day, you feel me? For lunch type shit, like on some- That nigga sent me $3. Hey, 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 I say, it don't matter about the amount, you feel me? I, you feel, I ain't, I ain't go out there and get you no goddamn, you feel me? Pan car, uh, caviar pancakes and no shit. You did, goddamn, you feel me? Yeah. Think about somebody, you feel me? Send them a little something if you can. You feel me? I had a little extra money on me that day. I felt it look good. I'm eating good, you feel me? Make sure my folks eat good. <laughs> Tight <Type of> shit. <laughs> Y'all get to our son, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You're a good nigga, my boy. But yeah, if you can be kind, you feel me? Be kind, goddamn. Look out for your folks. Yeah, be like Tino. Yeah, be like Tino, God. Yeah, like I said, the money is the thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But yeah, that, that was just being funny, y'all. Mm. <laughs> hey, man, y'all niggas hilarious, man. Hey, but again, damn, I'm gonna got choked. Well, if you listen to the podcast, you listen to the podcast. Man, what's your motivation, man? I ain't have one. I just tagged on her. Nigga, said, what? No. Nigga, you one came up with this ah, shit. I, I been told one. you, goddamn, I ran out of motivation. I, have, I have statements. No, okay, so I'm going to say this. Bro. They have a statement. It got me no motivation. I'm going to say this. All right, I'm going to say this. We're going to expand on it. No, I say this. I'm going to say this. Say it. You don't always have to make a decision. Sometimes. <laughs> He's saying that because you don't make no decision about nah, this. Nah, I'm saying, oh, nah, okay. this is some real shit. Sometimes you you don't always have to make a decision because sometimes not making the decision is the decision you need to make. Exactly. So, yeah, ponder on that. Get a hit in a little bit. That nigga, that's okay. Nigga, say you came up with this shit. Now you want to say, man, that nigga, that was retarded, man. Nah. I'm I'm just, I'm just looking, bro. <laughs> I'm just looking. Yeah. <laughs> my eyelash glue is fucking with me. It's all good. Why hey. is fucking with me? Yeah, it'll fuck with you too. <laughs> hey man, if you listen to this podcast, you listen to this podcast on the platform provided by Bloodstock.com, man, for sure. Hey, also, if you need your windows looking like new, hit my guy, 205-427-0303. Get your windows looking like new commercial residential, for sure. Also, goddamn, ain't it been crazy? Also, if you want to be a sponsor, Righteous City Podcast, hit us at Righteous City Podcast at gmail.com. Put sponsorship in the subject line, and we'll get that with you on how to nah, for real. on the podcast. Also, we got merch. Merch. We got merch, man. Definitely get some merch. We do have a Shopify link underneath this video. And also, if you can't find that, go on Instagram, Righteous City Podcast. Follow us there. Hit the link in the bio to take you straight to the merch. Or you can Google Shopify.com black backslash righteous apparel. So, and at the end, of the, I'm going to just say, God damn, if you did call a nigga corny back in the day, they probably were lying. Yeah. That's because a nigga got rich and successful. Don't mean a nigga had one lying. Yeah. They probably lying with a lot of money. There's a lot of niggas lying with a lot of money. They still got that same principles, still got a whole bunch of shit. I just saying, Shaw the guy there. She, I said, uh, she was interviewing Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, she, and he was like, "Yeah, you the same girl called me corner back in high school." Yeah, it probably was lying back in high school. Yeah, she probably said they just lived in the ghetto, like a small ass town. So like him being named Michael Jordan was just corny. They all made fun of him like that. Like yeah. I'm not, and I was saying, I don't know nothing about the nigga. Nigga might have been cool. Nigga might have been, but shit, right. some niggas is. But yeah, it was lame when you was goddamn. 
Right. 18 when you graduated, right. you still lame. And yeah. probably a lot of these celebrities. And you lame as fuck because it's 12, 15 plus years now and you still think about that shit. Like, like celebrities, niggas be got down right. going off celebrities and just because they rich and successful, that don't mean these folk not lame when they got some goddamn like some shit, some weird ass um, obsessions. Yeah. yeah. That shit probably came out more because they rich now as well, though, but stand on your shit. That nigga have a line, he might still be lame. Yeah. Or if that bitch was lying, she might still be lying. Huh? Tell me about it. Type shit. But yeah, people that take uh, success and all that shit just got down. Right. Hey. That just got down. That's my motivational minute. Right. They got down. This been brought to you by RMG. RMG, man. You feel me? RMG. Okay. Got down. Light new, light new window cleaning. You did ink. Yeah. In corporate. This nigga here retired. Yeah, I'm just playing. So I'm a janitor on this. So I'm glad they be letting me come on this. Dude. I got to clean up when we do it. <laughs> this nigga here right. retarded, man. Hey, it's been another dope ass week. Another dope ass episode, man. <laughs> Don't hit us, man. We fuck with y'all, man. We out. <laughs>